a pilgrim adventure. Your priest says, go. Your bishop says, go. Your pope says, go. Take a cross to Jerusalem as pilgrims in arms. Pope's call now went out across Europe, and to get bums on saddles, the church could boast it had already signed up a cast of stars. T. Raymond, Count of Toulouse. He hammered the Moors in Spain. Now watch him smash them in Jerusalem. Raymond's taking his family with him. He expects to be put in charge of the whole crusade. Cruising with Duke Godfrey of Lorraine. Duke Godfrey is in a rather precarious situation at home. He'd give his eye teeth to be in charge of the crusade. Thrill to Hugh of France. Now he thinks rather a lot of himself because his brother is the King of France. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any money. He's another one on the make. Join the greatest knights since time began on their journey to save the Holy Sepulchre from the blood-crazed infidels. Ride with the heroes. Get your place in heaven by sending infidel to hell. Of course, the church didn't actually have movies, but they did have, for the first time, a means of mass communication. And the crusade was the first message to go on general release. The impact was stunning. There had been holy wars before, but this was new. A fighting pilgrimage. Each pilgrim was to wear a cross to show that they had taken the vow to reach Jerusalem. They would be excommunicated if they turned back. Those who went would be freed any penalties in this life or the next for sins they had committed. The infidel barbarians in their frenzy have invaded and ravished the churches of God in the holy city of Christ, depopulated them by the sword, pillage and fire. They circumcised the Christians and they spread the blood upon the altars. Listen, good people. And listen Nothing to like it ever happened before. But it wouldn't happen again. Of course, the thing was, it wasn't meant to happen. These weren't migrants or nomads. These were settled rural communities who suddenly stopped work, packed their bags, said goodbye to their friends, and set off to put the world to right. What on earth made them do it? One thing is obvious. The church had a power over people that it really didn't understand. It had succeeded in making heaven as real as anything on earth. The church taught that judgment day was at hand and that the fires of hell were very real indeed. All men going there who die untimely deaths, whether it is on the journey or while fighting the pagans, will have their sins remitted. God has given the Pope the power to grant this to those about to go. The enemy's possessions will be yours. You will seize their treasures and return home victorious, or you will die gloriously. Gird your swords, every one of you, I say. God will it! God will it! The Pope had expected to raise an army. He got a mass migration. And no one knows how many people set out. To do what they must, they were prepared to follow any leader, including, in one case, a divinely inspired goose. Well, I heard on good authority that the goose on the right is a direct descendant of the famous crusade leader, so I'm going to see if I can have a word with it. Um, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Um, have you any family stories uh, of your great ancestor? Do you, do you remember him personally yourself? Uh, do you remember anything? Uh, do you remember? Do you remember anything at all about the group? 